Hi guys, so we're now here at um, Dreamland Beach. Um, it is not as you know daunting as to how you'd be able to go here compared to Nyang Nyang Beach, but still breathtaking. Um, if you notice, we're at the part where there are rock formations on the side. I do think that during high tide, it would go straight to the rocks. I'll just do a bit of a 360 after this, but just look into my background and see how big the waves are. There are quite a lot of people in this part because it is, I think, quite um, popular for um, surfing. There's a lot of people surfing over there and then there's also a boat over there. So yeah, it is quite a good beach. Um, the waves are very challenging still if ever you're going to swim here. So I highly suggest you to be a very good swimmer if in case you would like to, you know, take a dip on the underwater because I do think it is quite strong. Um, I do think it is open sea after that. That's the reason why the waves are extremely high. But if you're a surfer, I would definitely think that you would love to stay here. I'll do um, a flip of the camera so you can be able to see the rest of the beach. As you can see, it is really quite strong. There are other people surfing on that other side. Um, I don't know how they got there, but it is really quite scary. But even kids, but you can see, still can see kids you know, riding the waves. Another thing that you can do while you are here is there are a lot of uh, ladies that would offer you uh, massages. I just wasn't able to ask as to how much it would cost you. Uh, for a massage but there are a lot of ladies and they would just approach you so again before we move on to our next speech just giving you a quick tour of what it looks like I'll see you in the next video